Welcome to the Tinkering Studio, where you can tinker and learn by playing with the prompts. Make something fly at the wind table or build a marble machine. A cardboard automata is a device which is moving and it makes use of mechanical parts like cams and levers and just by changing the shape of the cams you can make very different kinds of movements. For the cardboard automata, we have one piece of cardboard which can be folded into a box, two cardboard circles which are cams, two sticks, one bubble tea straw and some decorative elements. You will also need the following additional items, a roll of masking tape, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, and glue sticks. The hot glue gun, because it is hot, make sure that you're careful when you use it. Do not touch the metal edge and any hot glue that comes out of the gun, don't touch it until it has dried up. When you need to put in a stick, take a glue stick and push it through the back of the glue gun. But I already have a glue stick inside here, so I'm just going to take it off. To use a hot glue gun, all you have to do is to squeeze the trigger and you see that hot glue comes out. You can buy a hot glue gun at any hardware store along with the glue sticks. To start off with the cardboard automata, you have this character card. Take out the character by pushing on the perforated parts. Once you do that, you will have your character piece. We're going to take this cardboard piece, which can be folded up to make a box. Use a little bit of tape and stick it in place. Now, you can actually add your decorative element. Check the top and the bottom. Peel off the sticker and stick it at the back of the automata. That would hide any masking tape that you have put inside there. Now, what you have here is a box with a sticker at the back. And the box has three holes. Two at the side and one on top. Now, the cam has three holes. You can put the stick into any of the three holes. You can play with this. For now, I'm going to choose the top hole. Stick inside, cam through one of the top holes, stick through the other side. Now, we kind of need to ensure that the stick stays attached to the cam and doesn't move back and forth. To ensure that, what we have to do is to hot glue the stick in place. So we're going to wait for the stick to dry a little bit and while we're doing that, we're going to assemble the second part of the cardboard automata. We need to take this bubble tea straw and cut a small piece of it. Not very big, just a couple of centimeters would do. And you're going to insert this bubble tea straw through the top hole. Now that's not going to be very easy because the top hole is quite small. So you need to enlarge the top hole. So use your scissors and make the hole a little bigger. Big enough for you to insert the bubble tea straw. And the stick goes inside. Hot glue, hot glue, hot glue everywhere. The second stick is going to be attached to this cam. Now, this is a little tricky. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put this in. Okay, I have to take this out this way. I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to attach the cam over here. All right, same thing, hot glue a little bit. So keep it there for about a minute or two for the hot glue to dry up. We're going to add our character inside. So what we're actually just going to do is to take this character and fold him up and attach him to your stick. Ensure that the bottom cam is touching the top cam. That's when it works. And that's your automata. Once you got the idea of how the automata works, there are lots of things you can play with. So you can play with the positioning of your cam. You can also play with different kinds of materials. So here are some of the automata that we have made here at the Tinkering Studio. So you can use everyday materials such as ice cream sticks, papers, cardboard, takeaway containers, and even little 3D printed parts. Just get creative and try and see how you can experiment with the different characters that are moving. You also don't have to limit yourself to just one movement. In this, we've got three different kinds of movements as well. 